Because as Huey Long once complained of his assassin, <laughs> I didn't even know her. Oh, savory! Mon cher! Are you having nautical issues, Catatonia? Oh, a typical autumn storm, I believe. Uh. The Leviathan is flapping its sea wings and opening storms upon us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, that may just be the opening bed. Uh, Surrender conceded to having an opening act? <laughs> well, only insofar as they are only so bad and or good as to be ignored. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's quite challenging for you to perform so steadily on a nightly basis. <laughs> well, maybe. Oh, do you enjoy this orchestra's musical profferings? They, they call themselves mutant slime enigma or something to that effect, then they appear to be evoking the sensation of an avalanche blasting out of a quarry pit. <laughs> well, well, hopefully it will be a workable partnership. I believe Surrender plans to send them out for fish tacos once we arrive at Virginia Beach and leave them stranded at the docks. Oh, fiddle fudge, Surrender is buzzing. Well, I need to bid adieu anyway. But as always, I have very much enjoyed our- Oh, I know what he told you, Chi-Chi, but it ain't no emergency, I guarantee ya. He's just trying to get me to rush down there in my slip. <laughs> Catwoman, mm. I hope I'm not disturbing your inebriated reflections on life, but this opening band is just about done bulldozing out the main hall. We need to be ready to start stumbling around in the wreckage in a half an hour. I'm ready. All I have to do is warm up my unit. He what? He sent me a message. Oh, Chi Chi. Hubba Hubba is not a message. Lord, have there been no advances in the world of courtship since 1972? <laughs> An old chestnut with a rich history. Did you know there are still signs with the slogan Hubba Hubba uh, along the Great Mississippi Bridge? Uh, oh. In 1941, uh, a U.S. Naval Battalion uh, was commissioned to provide the infrastructure for a campaign against the Japanese. Mm -hmm. And working always in the midst of battle, their watchword was Hubba Hubba. It, Which originally meant I keep moving. It's me. fascinating. Well, some I, believe the word was borrowed from the Polynesian, although it does Chichi. resemble an ancient Viking war cry. It's almost fish taco time. Oh, word wants a token of glory. Now reduced to a slang assessment of crude sexual strut, as in your case. But, hey now, Catwoman. Now, if you had a Guatemalan drag queen cinching your waistline up into your kidneys, you'd probably walk with your back end pooched out, too. Now, come on, let's hubba hubba on out of here. <laughs> it's the Dragon Sail Puppets Variety Show. Starring Sorinda, Bruce, Catatonia, and Henri. Featuring the Dragon Sail Puppets Band. Anchors away.
you're finally getting to see me in Pinch My Penny Fake Cashmere. I don't know what to do with myself. I guess it's a step up, right? <laughs> People are always dissing polyester, but I say it sure does keep a hussy warm. <laughs> oh, I thought I would open up with some inspiration from Georgia Heartless. <laughs> She's been posting on social media all her feelings, of course, and her musings on why the secret didn't work out for her. This is what she has stumbled upon, a quote from Mary Flake Wimbledon. To fulfill your heart's desire, you must be very clear about your goal and pursue it without hesitation. However, you mustn't pursue it too directly, as the universe requires purity of heart and selfless openness. You must pursue your goal while forgetting all about it. You must surround yourself with people who can help you meet your goal. However, you mustn't pursue relationships based on a goal. You must network while bonding in selfless openness while you forget why you came here in full knowledge of your life's purpose. <laughs> So yeah, apply these gems of wisdom, my loves, and soon you'll have pink hair piled up to the ceiling in triple D implants, and you can be seen <laughs> bent over crying in a parking lot trying to reach a Twinkie with your butt pads popping out under the hood of a Honda. <laughs> oh, well, Georgia did have one pretty good idea. She recommended an occasional fan mail segment, which is the perfect thing for me to air while I slip backstage to adjust my skirt. Roll the film, hussy. <laughs> All right, Catwoman, whose life do I save next? This next correspondent writes, Dear Surrender, I understand you take antidepressants. Uh, uh, I think you should consider that you may be experiencing a placebo effect from the evil pharmaceutical industry. The holistic remedies I have included here may help you more organically. Mon cher. Well, let me just settle in here with all of this. <laughs> Thank you, young sapling with 18 years of precious life experience to go on. Now, I haven't seen your prayer list yet, but if it includes valerian, vitamin D, community support, yoga, deep breathing, and baying at the moon, I can assure you, Surrender has tried all of these, and she still wanted to yank a hussy's face off at the pinch my penny that's holding up the line. So I I think I will continue taking my dope, and I'll just nestle your list up a duck's ass. Who's next? Oh, Lord, I think I should just always wear black, Chi-Chi. It hides the blood stains. I told you that safety pin was sticking me. <laughs> Lord, we'll see y'all on the other side. <laughs> Stuffed bunnies for me! <laughs> Chocolate bunny ears for me! Lord, the pinch my penny is just exploding with savings! <laughs> I snuck in the door when Georgie Hotflesh came out and dropped her huge toolbox all over the street! <laughs> Hell no, that was a makeup kit! What you talking about? <laughs> There's still some Stormcloud Designs t-shirts that don't have burn holes in them. I'm wearing one now, yay. Uh, Lord, Catwoman is just looming there like the specter of death. While I make my way to the Honeysuckle Passion display. It's the only counter that doesn't smell like mothballs. I suppose I am to sing tributes of praise to incessant consumerism. Much like a Shakespearean fool with wisdom to impart, but who must only win attention of his baggy trousers. Corn cob pipes you can use as balls. <laughs> Hairpin dealies you can use as roach clips. <laughs> Check aisle nine. <laughs> Lord, she's still just sitting there like a piece of moldy fruit on a plate. It's unnerving. 
the never-ending promotion of unnecessary items fueling ceaseless cravings. Oh, in the end, desires are as cheap as every circumstance is grief. <laughs> Clean up on aisle nine. Oh, please surprise me and tell me that sloppy Bruce was to blame. Wow. Oops. <laughs> So I said to her, enough of these lies about your maidenhood, madam. Your crank drive shaft is bunching up against your corrosive cylinders, i.e. that's your problem. That's not why they kicked you out of the bench, my pen. Well, it's too much tea. <laughs> too much tea in my way. What water roach clips? <laughs> Oh, I told you before, and you never understand. <laughs> you never understand. Did you have too much wine or too much funky weed? Uh, I can never tell. All I know with certainty is I have my hands on the horns, and I'm driving this beast into the mountain. <gasps> hey, when is our next vacation? I don't know, but I don't want it to be on the sea. I'm sick of water dealies. I want to go to someplace pretty like the Grand Canyon and ignore everything around me. <laughs> hey, what was it that that Katie Cat lady called you? Well, uh, uh, Catatonia calls me the Wizard Captain of the Way. Well, why can't I have a nice title dealie? I'm just called things like nuisance, or little Lord Stumbles, or over there in the corner drooling. Well, I am the ship medium. Huh? I'm the one who talks to the dead to reunite people with loved ones. Oh, that's right. You have that big Ouija board dealy, la -dee da Well, I haven't used the Ouija board for a while to call to the other side. I kept getting interrupted by too many advertisements. Well, how will I ever be able to talk to Truman Capote? <laughs> well, there's other ways. Mm. I can do a three-card spread and invite the ghostly visitors in with coffee and tea. We have to make, like, make things that are, like, wet from, like, steam kettle dealies and little bags? Ah, uh, who has the time? I'm a busy pugilist. I think it should be BYOB. Well, it's not a big deal. The dead hardly drink anything at all. Yeah, do they know who I am? I'm afraid so. Just check. You know what would be good? Uh, you could sober up sometime. Uh, and I could introduce you to Diana. Just to be clear, if you're talking about that woman who chased me out of the pinch of my penny with a broom, we've already met. No, she's the goddess of nature and the countryside, and she works a lot with dogs. Who does she give him candy? Does she throw groovy parties? Well, she can give you advice on how to live your best life. You know, all I have to do is sober up. That's really asking quite a lot. Totally worth it. Well, I will think about it then. I'll just log that hussy into my Rolodex and check with my investors, and my people will be in touch. Ooh, tacos! I smell! Wee! <laughs>
itself Oh, with you inside See, child Your dispute Trust in the frenzy In the wild to a close once again, dearest ones. And we do hope your heart's desires have been filled by watching us, because I really don't see any other remedy being possible. <laughs> and of course, I would like to thank my higher power, which is, of course, myself, with some help from a licensed pharmacist. <laughs> see, y'all trap that serotonin in a leak-proof baggie and never let it go as you go forth and live in life. Or oh, suck it up, us in. <laughs> Surrender's gown is courtesy of the Finch My Penny Markdown Rack. Wardrobe consultation by Chi Chi's Productions. Personal assistant to Surrenda, also that drag queen from Guatemala. Special promotional consideration by Georgia Hot Flash. Surrenda's fragrance, Honeysuckle Passion, now twice the price in a fancy new bottle with frosted glass so you can feel like a classy hussy spritzing at the bus stop. <laughs>